details are emerging about the alleged relationship between star New York Magazine correspondent Olivia Nuzzi and former presidential candidate RFK Jr. Nuzzi sent nude photos to the former independent presidential candidate, per Puck News. Then Kennedy bragged to his friends about receiving the intimate photos, according to the Daily Beast. And it all eventually made its way back to Nuzzi's boss, New York Magazine editor, David Haskell. The New York Post tells the story slightly differently. According to that publication, RFK Jr. is considering suing Nuzzi for bombarding him with unsolicited racy images. A mutual friend says that RFK Jr. repeatedly blocked Nuzzi's cell phone number, but then unblocked her after she had reached out via a different number and said she had urgent matters to discuss with him about hit pieces coming his way. Quote, once unblocked, she bombarded him with increasingly pornographic photos and videos that he found difficult to resist, wrote the mutual friend, as reported by the New York Post. After brief exchanges, he would block her again. Now, for context, Nuzzi is New York Magazine's Washington correspondent, known for her political features. She was previously a reporter for the Daily Beast. Nuzzi got to know RFK Jr. while doing a profile on him titled The Mind Being Politics of RFK Jr. Mind Bending Politics of RFK Jr. Spoiler Campaign. He could turn the presidential race upside down. That was published in November of 2023. Nuzzi told New York Magazine the relationship started in December of 2023 and then lasted throughout the end of August. In a statement, Nuzzi said earlier this year, the nature of some communications between myself and a former reporting subject turned personal. During that time, I did not directly report on the subject nor use them as a source. The relationship was never physical, but should have been disclosed to prevent the appearance of a conflict. Meanwhile, JFK Jr. RFK Jr.'s team has said, quote, Mr. Kennedy only met Olivia Nuzzi once in his life for an interview she requested, which yielded a hit piece. Nuzzi has been placed on leave, and New York Magazine has employed a third-party firm to conduct an audit of Nuzzi's work that will inform the nature of disciplinary action taken. Nuzzi was previously engaged to Politico's Ryan Lizza, but they have since broken up. Lizza, by the way, was fired from The New Yorker in 2017 over allegations of, quote, improper sexual conduct. In a statement, Lizza said, quote, because of my connection to the story through my ex-fiancé, my editors and I have agreed that I won't be involved in any coverage of Kennedy in Playbook or elsewhere at Politico. RFK Jr. is married to Cheryl Hines, the Curb Your Enthusiasm actor, actress. And per the New York Post, Hines was once one of the 43 mistresses RFK Jr. had listed in his phone during his second marriage. The Daily Mail is reporting Hines was seen without her wedding ring in Italy over the weekend following the scandal. Lots going on here. So many layers to this. So we begin. <laughs> uh, okay. So okay. the claim from the RFK Jr. side is that this was one way and unsolicited, and she sent him all these messages, and he blocked her after responding briefly, and then um, and she persisted, and that's what happened there. Um, the Daily Beast side of it is that no, they were engaged. Now, neither claim they had an actual physical relationship. So, so it was this. just an exchanging of texts going Super on. Super important to note because the internet uh, is not recognizing that, that yeah. there was nothing ever that happened physically between them. It was all via text, as you said. But That's on the other claim. side, keep in mind, he is 40 years older than her, 39 years older than her. He has a history of this type of behavior. He also has questionable choices in life. Well, uh, but he's I mean, making, true, but let's... Uh, but he's making it one-sided. What I'm trying to say is... I mean, she's an adult. She's, I'm not discounting that she's an adult, but what I'm saying here is the age dynamic is something to consider, the power dynamic is something to consider, and simultaneously, he is now going on attack against her, saying that he was the victim of her sending texts and, and photos when that was based on a friend who he probably... Somebody probably had go speak to the press, the New York Post, which doesn't have the best editorial oversight, I just find it all very fishy, and if he did share those photos with anybody, that is a crime. So my guess is, yes, it, it's, it, if he is to share any sort of sexual photos from somebody else, that is a crime. And so he could potentially have some legal issues, and that might be why he's now going on attack against her, threatening a lawsuit. I'm not, I'm thinking, is it a crime? Yeah, it is. In what, how? In what way? It's revenge porn. It's, it's, it's labeled as a type of Well, if it's crime. not, if they're, I mean, if they're, I think they have to be explicitly pornographic to be in. They said it was increasingly. Or racy or increasingly. Yeah. I mean, that's what's claimed. Yeah. Obviously, we don't have evidence of that. I assume the outside firm will be going through her phone and, and trying to figure out what actually happened. It's not great for journalism. I think 
The story has blown up to a level that is alarming online for her. I, I, I mean, it is very sexist, the responses people are saying about her. Not saying that people aren't criticizing RFK because he's got enough going on in his world. I think what's alarming also is this is a guy who has been seen as a spoiler and there's all this inside the beltway, mm. you know, how the sausage gets made and the public loves to see it, especially since she has a very Instagram worthy life and there's this, you know, she's a beautiful woman, she's also a great writer and she was, you know, really ahead in her career for her age and now that's well, yeah, I, I, okay. imploding. I don't see her as a victim in all this. I don't see him as a victim either. I, I, I don't know. I can't tell exact. Obviously, I, I haven't. If I could read through a transcript of their messages, not that I want to do that. You would, you know, was it one sided or was it clearly both ways? And they, just a messy affair they were both having. Um, uh, that which is, is not which uncommon. Is, which right doesn't matter to me. It's their personal lives. It right. doesn't matter, even though they're famous people. I don't really care about their uh, their personal lives at all. In terms of the journalism, she should not have been um, doing this, obviously, with, as she's a major um, a, a political reporter. Even if she wasn't writing specifically about him, she was covering presidential politics. Exactly. He was a candidate. Um, now, I will say the reason, so Olivia Nussi is pretty widely despised online by a lot of Democrats because she had that story, which was completely true, cons the conspiracy of silence around Joe Biden's right. cognitive decline that was that made people in Biden world furious. They lost it on her. And that story was completely true. It was completely valid. We all know it was now. And so some of this is people, um, Democratic Biden people are toasting her, her demise right. for daring to have said something mean about Joe Biden. That is transparently what's going on here. Now, that is a separate issue from what actually occurred, which seems to be some level of consensual affair between people who were involved with other people and they shouldn't have been doing that. Whatever, that's none of our business, I don't care. Um, it does mean she should not be have been covering the presidential campaign. I, I don't I know that she should lose her job for that, or what I mean, they were right to look into it and to have her suspended. Seems like that makes sense to me. I, I, I don't, she is a good reporter, and she has actually published things in the past that make the mainstream media very uncomfortable. But that is not to excuse what went on here. But I don't. I'm. I don't. I'm not a. I'm not. I don't think. I don't think she's a victim in that way. Although I know people have attacked her for good reporting she did. I think she's a victim in that the tone of attacks online are really unhinged. I mean, it is it is a slew of attacks. You know, should she be criticized for breaking journalism ethical standards? Sure. Should yeah. she be on leave? Sure. But does that mean that they should be publicly stoning her to death? I mean, the RFK folks who are really excited online right now are going after her in deeply misogynistic ways. He gets criticized too, but it's not happening in this story in the same way. And so that is the only layer I'll add is that yeah. Even on our side, on the left, I've seen it happening, and it's like you can't just be feminist when you want it. You have to be feminist all around and understand these things. It doesn't mean she wasn't wrong. It doesn't mean that she, she shouldn't be reprimanded, but it doesn't mean that she should be publicly flogged and burned at the stake. Well, both, uh, I mean, we should, you know, both partners of the two people seem pretty upset about what has happened. Ryan Lizza has called off his engagement to Olivia Nuzzi. As we read, he was involved in his own kind of Me Too thing. Uh, they, they were coworkers at... Uh, New York Magazine, I think, when they started dating, or somewhere they, somewhere in media. And then, of course, Cheryl Hines, the wife of RFK Jr., was apparently celebrating her birthday without him, without wearing a wedding ring over the weekend. So there are certainly some hurt, hurt feelings among people. But Olivia Nussi has had her defender. I did want to, I looked at this, I thought this was a terrible defense of, uh, of her from Ben Smith at Semaphore, who I generally oh, yeah. like. But he wrote something saying, like, <laughs> you know, Journalists often have important relationships with their sources, not sexual, but it is, an, it is a relationship. So being like, is this that different? Yes, this is very yes, different. Yes, that's Smith. different. You should not do this. <laughs> More rising yeah. right after this.